Chapter 1, Section 1, Points, Lines, and Planes. Three different things that we're going to discuss today. A point, let's start with that initially. A point is just... Well, if I could get, if I could write correctly, there we go. A point is just what it sounds like. It's just a point. A point has a location, but it's not a shape, and it doesn't have a specific size. So when we talk about shapes, obviously point will not be one, and it could be the tip of a pencil. Now let's look at examples. We could go uh, a pencil tip. Very important to just be the tip of the pencil, not the actual pencil itself. And there are multiple other examples for that, but we'll just we'll just stay with the pencil tip. And then we're going to get to our next basic one, which is going to be a line. Let's see if I can get this to pick up the same font. So it would be the same size. Oh, a little bit smaller, but that's all right. I'm going to draw my perfect line here. I love the technology. This is signified as a line because of the arrows on the end. I wish I had a double arrow, but it just has a single. And so a line will have points on it. And so in this case, I'm going to use P and Q because uh, that's the book example. And once you get a textbook, if you're following along, that's on page five. So this would be labeled as line P Q. It could also be labeled as line QP because a line is going to have the same distance either direction or either orientation. Go back here. I don't like this a little bit. I want to little get a little obsessive that those need to line up. Excuse the horrible joke. Point, line, and now planes. Uh, we're very familiar with points and lines. Planes are just a little bit different, and, and no, it's not the plane that flies in the air. This is going to be a different type of plane. Let's see what it can recognize for me on this one. Excellent. And so that's pretty lined up. A plane is going to be a surface, and it is a flat surface. So I'm going to go up here to my shapes, and um, I'm going to pick a parallelogram and just sketch out a parallelogram here. Well, I don't want that one. I want it a little bit lower. There we go. So there's a plane right there. Uh, my best example for you is your desktop. Um, the desktop of your computer, if you think of it that way, the desktop of your student desk while you're sitting in this class or any other class, a plane will be labeled quite possibly by just a single letter. Sometimes they will do all four letters around the outside, but most of the time, let's just call this plane P because plane begins with the letter P. This would be plane P, and you might have some different things on here. Um, you could have you could have points A, B, and C that are on that plane. We could connect a couple of those points. 
I get a good line through there. I don't like that one. Let's try again. Go a little bit lower. There we go. You could have lines that are on here. And so they might ask you to, to identify the things that were on this plane. So let's do that. Let's identify. I'm going to extend this just a little bit. Okay, let's identify the parts of this plane or the components. I'm going to call it plane P. Let's recognize that so you can see it well. So the parts of plane P, this is bugging me down here, get rid of that, are going to be points A and B. And it's also going to have line CB. Oop, not CD, excuse me. Again, you could label that BC as well. I'm not going to put the line sign above them because I do want it to recognize. Um, it's going to give me two different ones there. Yeah, I don't like that. There we go. I corrected that. So I've got points A and B and line CB or BC, just depending on how you label it. Again, either is correct. And so later in the problems, they're going to ask you different examples. Uh, what would certain things be? Um, what are some classifications of points? So let's go to a new page. If I have, let me go ahead and make a line. If I have a line and on it are points A, points B, and point C, there is a relationship between A, B, and C because they are on the same line. Anything that's that has the same classification is co. For example, if you had co-champions, it would be two champions. This is, because it's on a line, called co-linear. And they are collinear points. Collinear points A, B, and C. I kind of separated collinear there a little bit, but I'm okay with that. Collinear points A, B, and C. I didn't write my C big enough. Looks like it noticed it is lowercase. Uh, still learning the technology. Please be patient. So we have collinear. We could also have um, we could also have coplanar. So let's get some coplanar examples. So now I'm going to go with this trapezoid, and we're going to call this plane T, again just signifying the shape that it is, plane T. Let's say that I have um, points R and points S. So I have point R and point S. They are two points that are on the same plane. So two points on the same plane is going to make that coplanar. Let me check the spelling, make sure I have that correct. Coplanar, that's with an AR. 
coplanar points and those are R and S. Let's see what kind of recognition I can get there. Hope oh, I'm not going to like that at all. Okay, so fix that a little bit. Coplanar points R and S. Again, font size is just a little bit off, but I'll, I'll be able to get a little bit better at that throughout the year. Okay. That's about it, guys. We're learning the classifications of points, lines, and planes. Chapter 1, Section 1.